Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. Just before we jump in, I want to quickly say that someone on my Discord has been working on a room pack that adds like over a thousand rooms to the game called Samuel's Room Pack. It's on the uh, Steam Community Workshop now, so if you want more rooms, go take a look. It seems that they've been putting in a lot of effort and I just wanted to shout that out. Anyways, as we get into the episode here, let's see. Uh, let's play as Lazarus and just do a regular run um, and try and get maybe... Um, Mega Satan done or something like that. Well, we'll see how we go. As for the question of the day, what is one game that you wish you could forget everything about and play again for the first time? Because that is something that I feel like everyone wants to do with multiple things in their life. And it's kind of spawned by the fact that I just started watching today, um, Lemon Juice, that's just smaller tier size, isn't it? Um, I just started watching today, um... Dark Viper AU, who is normally a uh, GTA 5 speedrunning YouTuber, who is very entertaining. I just started watching him today playing The Binding of Isaac. He started, uh, he started playing it, and he knows pretty much literally nothing. It's starting from fresh. Um, ooh, this thing's pretty bad, unfortunately. If an enemy is slowed enough, it briefly freezes. Sleeping grants plus one HP. I mean, that's pretty good. We'll, we'll take it for that reason, but yeah, basically it freezes and gives us the tears up. It's pretty hard to make good usage of it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, and it just kind of reminded me of how entertaining it is to watch people play a game that they've never played before. One thing I will say, by the way, fuck this community sometimes. Like, you can see the stream chat, um, obviously, in the bottom right corner, because he did it, it's VODs of a stream. And he is constantly saying, hey, don't spoil me. And oh my god, do people not shut? the hell up about backseating just goddamn leave the guy to discover the game himself it's pissing me off <laughs> it's just like for god's sake can people just chill for a minute and let people savor the enjoyment of learning the game like come on it's just it's, i feel like it's so rude when he specifically asks them hey don't tell me what this does and they're like um did you know that if you bomb a tinted rock you get to it's like, c c shut up shut up no one cares he asked you not to do it, so stop doing it. Eh. Goddamn, backseating people. I hate it. It's the worst. Anyways, enough about my rant. But yeah, it's been really enjoyable. I think definitely for me, it'd probably be Hollow Knight. I think that's a game that um, I enjoyed so much the first time round that being able to forget all about it and rediscover it would be really, really enjoyable. Definitely shouldn't have taken that heart there. Um, yeah, that'd be, that'd be just a thoroughly enjoyable experience because the game is just really enjoyable. But also, honestly... Binding of Isaac and Enter the Gungeon are two really good contenders where I could forget everything I know and replay it. Especially if I could replay it from no knowledge with Repentance out. Ooh, now that would be something. That'd be truly something. I'd really enjoy that. Uh, no. I'm gonna waste a bomb to not do this room. No, thank you. No, thank you. No way I'm doing that room. That looks horrendous. Um... Anyways, let's continue onwards, shall we? Uh, we do want to be dying here uh, to get our heart up, so I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to uh, try and die on his um, last attack. Unfortunately, we did get this boss, which I find to be an absolute pain in the ass. Yeah. Get my tears up for the fight going. Also, we can apparently freeze him as well. It's nice. I did read that, but I completely forgot about it. Slow them down briefly with each shot until they get frozen. I quite like that. Especially when it does this. Instantly on his attack, it gets freezing. And again, maybe? Yes, and again. Beautiful. You get nothing, good boy. There you go. One of the biggest things that I that I just dislike about that boss is getting corn kernel. It's like, ugh. Ugh. It's like poopy cube of meat. The cube of meat is already kind of poopy. It's double the poop. I can't handle all this poop. Also, you've placed this guy in a mighty annoying location. Use corn kernel to get him there. But yeah, of course, it's Lazarus now. We do get the uh, added benefit of 
killing ourselves multiple times to gain benefits. I, I really like it. It also fits more closely with the um, the version of Lazarus uh, in Four Souls. And speaking of Four Souls, um, the new expansion Requiem has started shipping in the US and should be shipping in the UK shortly. And you know this boy has it on pre-order, the, the big box edition as well. I got the um, like full edition of the first Four Souls card game, um, IRL, and I am certainly getting the next one too. I'm really looking forward to getting it. And apparently it now has a co-op mode as well, a co-op slash solo mode, so you can play it with less than four people, which I, I really like the idea of, because oftentimes me and my girlfriend like playing it on our own, but it's not very balanced for playing it with just two players. Um, so it's nice to have a mode that's specifically designed around that. Aquarius, I quite like. I quite like the Aquarius. Probably a good room to do this in, because it's because we've got some time. But yeah, I think it's pretty good for bosses, this melatonin, but I think for regular rooms, it's not so good. Oh, also, wait, 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 wait. Just step into my creep, good sir, if you would. If you kindly could step into the creep. Ah, I was checking to see if it had, um... That's, that's decent. Checking to see if it would slow him down, because look, my, my creep definitely changed colour when I used melaturn in there, which is interesting. We'll try and keep our devil deal alive here, but I don't know how likely that is. Unfortunately, I don't think melaturn is going to be something we can at all use here. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it definitely changes the colour of our creep, but that might just be colour. I'm not sure if it'll actually tempt, uh, put them to sleep or not. Oh, no, it, it does. That's cool. That's a cool little synergy there. Thank you. Check this out. I like melatonin, but this is definitely better. Okay. Can we just go? Yeah, uh, get damage up, and we get a mini boss guaranteed every single floor, which I, I really like the idea of. Now, we do have to be careful about our current HP. It's not great. But we can deal. Our stats are looking good. I'll say that. Yeah, melatonin. It's interesting, but unfortunately, it's just not the way my cookie crumbles today. Lockdown. Of course. Ooh. Scorpio's well. Aquarius and Scorpio. That means we get the old green trail now. I, I, I absolutely love this rework that they did of Aquarius. Makes it into so much more of an interesting item. Before, it was just kind of something you had and you never really thought about. Now, it's actually got some synergy potential, some ability to do some really cool damage and stuff. And ability to kind of build your run around it if you get the right items, too. Especially if you get, like, the uh, the cork and stuff like that. It's got so much potential. I might come back for you, chest. But I need a heart first. Actually, there's the heart back there. I'll see how I do with this room first. And then we'll uh, go from there. But yeah, it's been really, really interesting watching Dark Viper play this game for the first time. It's been a really long time since I've watched anyone play this game with, like, no prior knowledge. And it's just... It's so interesting to see, like, the assumptions that people make. Like, really interesting to see what, what things people think work in certain ways and stuff. Like, he uh, he recently, t on his second episode, turned on the uh, external stats hood. Like, being able to see your stats on the left there. And um, he didn't notice what the Devil Deal stat was. And he picked up a nickel the room after having got on hit, losing his devil chance, making him think that, for, sorry, not, no, no, not even. He picked a nickel up and then noticed his devil deal stat at 100%, making him think that nickels, because they're black, because they're like dark in color, making him think that nickels are um, like evil and they give you an evil up. And he still thinks that. And I, I just think that's so interesting. And this is why I like, I hate like people backseating and like telling him what things do. Make him, like, let him misinform himself. Let him make those mistakes. That's kind of part of the charm of the game. When someone just goes, eh, no, you're wrong. This is actually how it works. It's so boring. And I don't get why people in chat just don't get that. Just leave them alone. <laughs> Stop with all your backseating people. Isaac is, like, gotta be one of the worst communities I know for that. People just 
can't shut up about the fact that they know things. It, it's, it's like some sort of sense of pride of themselves that they know Isaac more than you do or something. I, I, I just don't get it. It's, it's this really weird thing. Um, and it's not everyone, of course, but plenty of people, plenty of you guys in my comment section are, are more than more than pleasant. But I, I remember, like, Alexa, one of the big reasons he stopped making Isaac content is because of the constant backseating he got. He said that, like, just everyone was constantly nitpicking his gameplay, and it, it was very, um, very wearing on him. And I completely get it. Like, I, I've say, I was saying in the previous episode that I've had to, like, like mute a few people in my chat that just won't stop backseating because it's really frustrating to have to read all the time. Um, and like I said, it's, it's in the minority for me, but other people get it a lot worse. It's just kind of shitty. Like, saying like, oh, um, like someone someone left a tip and said, hey, try not getting hit on any red health and you, um, you might get some better rewards after killing the boss. I think that's perfectly fine. That's a vague hint. It doesn't tell him what he gets. And it just, it's just like a vague, like, hey, if you try and do this, you might get something for it. I, that, that's fine. But when people are like... Hey, if you uh, if you make it the entire floor without taking red heart damage, you get um, a devil deal that you can trade red hearts for, and you lose your devil deal chance per floor based on the percent chance on the left when you get hit on your red hearts. That's just no, that's just ruining the fun. <laughs> like it's a bit different for me now that I know the game so well, but for new players, it's just like, come on, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? This, this, this floor seems to be going on forever. Also, these guys are everywhere right now. I'm in like every room. Last D10. Probably don't want to take the Rotten Heart with only one heart, really. Don't know why I took that Soul Heart there. Very bad idea. Easy kill. Unfortunately, getting a little chat here, which doesn't matter to us. Oh, that's our first time defeating you as well. Wow, okay. I'm gonna be forever chat. If you really wanna chant forever. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself now. You watch this fire hit me the moment I spawned. No, <laughs> I got lucky. Right, down we go. I love Lazarus now. Play, playing this whole close to death play style is just a lot of fun. Definitely shouldn't have picked up the soul heart though, that was real stupid of me. Item wise, we've not got anything crazy good yet. Apple's pretty good. I always forget Apple has a fire rate up as well. Unfortunately, we do have minus two luck, so we're not going to be getting a ton out of the apple right now. That's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to do this real quick. Oh, that almost shot right into me. Just because I actually don't want the Eternal Heart at the moment. Also, we've got a reflected item here. Uh, I'm going to come back to that once I've died. In fact, should I just die now? I'm going to take a very big gamble here and just die now. Um. Hmm. Okay, good. I was hoping I could do that. Right, now I can go and kill myself. This is a gamble, but I'm going to take the Eternal Heart now. Just for safety. And we'll take whatever these items are here, which I'm hoping is, yes, two HP ups. That's exactly what I was hoping it'd be. Now, I did lose my Devil Deal chance for doing that, which is a bit foolish. I probably should have waited till later on the floor. But overall, I think that's a pretty big success. Also, I can't believe my little, my little puking vomit buddy is uh, still hanging around. Good stuff. I like him. Easy breezy. I like that. Yeah, so a little bit hasty on there. Could have probably missed out on a potentially decent devil deal. Oh, I don't like these guys. One thing I don't like about these guys is I think that they should pop up once before they jump. So you have a chance to kill them before they jump, but that doesn't happen. Also, lost my eternal heart there. It was a risk I was willing to take, to be honest. 
I realise it wasn't ideal, but it's fine. Little Chad here gonna give us hearts here and there to help us out on our merry journey. I, mean, I think poison actually just kills this guy, right? Yeah, it does. Nice. So many luck down pills. What's going on with that? Keep kind of pushing through here. We've been to our item room, so we're kind of good to go. That was a very bad hit by me. Ooh, full on burn heart. Nice. Glad I got those unlocked by doing thingy. Also, apparently I need to do Isaac on the dark path to unlock missing poster so that I can start unlocking the lost. Uh, people have let me know. Either that or I can get um, divorce papers and missing page and do it that way. Or mysterious paper, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it now. Don't know why I used my book. That was a bit foolish. She's gonna do a jump before I kill her, isn't she? Yep, she always does. Deceiver heart there. Very deceiving heart because it just fucking disappeared. <laughs> Excuse me. Very devious indeed. Also, today is a is a joyous day because um, it's the second weekend, the open weekend of the Diablo 4 beta, and oh my god. I am looking forward to it so much. The first weekend, I absolutely loved it. I played this Barbarian, and it was a blast. For those of you that don't, that don't know already, Diablo is, like, one of my favorite games ever. I absolutely love Diablo. Um, Diablo 3, I have, like, 1,600 hours in, which is actually pretty much on par with my Isaac hours. Um, and so, yeah, very, very happy to see uh, another Diablo game coming out. And I, I really enjoyed the beta, too. It's... Uh, it did a lot new that was good that I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. And so yeah, I'm gonna bash out the bit. Uh, it starts tonight, so I'm gonna play some tonight and then over the weekend, leave that there. Unfortunately, items, yeah, haven't been that great here. I also hear you, spooky ghost boy. Don't want to deal with you. I'm going straight for the boss here. I, th I think I can go for the boss. Oh, that was a very, very bad hit by me there. Let's just quickly go back and grab this. Yeah, this is only depths once. So I am good to do the boss straight off the bat. And I'm pretty sure the boss is right here. Not right here, but it's close. I'm going to lose the burn heart at the end of this floor, but it's all in the name of stats. You just created a host there. That was kind of bullshit, my good guy. Wasn't a big fan of the way you did that. Oh, bollocks. A lot going on there. A lot to keep a track of. Right. We've also not found our mini boss this floor. We need to go and find our mini boss. Because there is one guaranteed. I'm pretty sure. This guy is getting a bit fresh, to be honest. You need to chill out, my guy. You've gone directly into the spikes there, my dude. Not the healthiest of options. There's our devil deal. Placenta there as well. Um, a lot of red hearts. I'm probably going to take both of these, because we've got so much hearts available to us. Um, right. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Grab that bad boy. Back through here, and then we got a soul heart all the way back over there as well. I might as well check out our shop. We've got them. We've got a little bit of money to buy a soul heart if there's one available. Spindle would be fun, and Star Whistle's pretty good too. But unfortunately, we're a little ways off of that right now. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Just going to quickly check out here for a secret room. Unfortunate. I thought maybe. It's more, more than likely up here, actually, just to the right. No, it's not actually. Okay. Yeah. That was so fucking stupid. My brain just kind of did a bit of a feeble moment, and basically I was looking at the other spikes pattern rather than the ones I was walking over. And so I just kind of did the wrong thing entirely. There he is. 
Oh, we got spider bite for this guy. Okay, well, well worth the cost of doing business. I like that. Yeah, I was looking at the spike pattern up here instead of the one below, just I walked directly onto the spikes. Spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. I mean, we do have boss rush availability here. That's kind of interesting. I'll take that. A fragile bobby on picking up a, a penny. I wonder what the chances of that are. I can't imagine they're high, but I'll give that a go. Why is one hand taking forever to come down? Right. Grab that soul heart, and away we go. At least we got like these plenty of burn orbitals from all the self damage we've been taking. That's kind of helpful. Check this out, maybe. Planetarium disc. Planetarium disc. Because if they got that voice, that's so good. Right. Probably not going to make boss rush here, but we do have three minutes, so it's plausible. We got marked as one of our items, lovely. To be honest, I don't mind marked at all, but it's not the sort of item you'd want from this, because it changes things up a bit. We have Lunar at the minute as well, nice. Quite like that, thank you. Will-O-Wisp is fun. I can't unfortunately get that Luna because it's just in a bad spot. Boss trap room here as well. The fact that I can use Sprinkler there is pretty cool. I really like these machines. They're really fun. Really, really good idea. Not that I need it for this fight, but really good idea regardless. Come on, burn boys. Don't know what dice that was there, but I'm pretty happy with Placard, to be honest. It's getting less and less likely we're going to make it. I'm hoping for the best. Going to have to be pretty speedy if we still want to make it at this rate. But we've got a good set of stuff. Honestly, bomb through this room because it's going to take forever. God damn it. I don't care about all the drops. I've got to be I've got to be speed. I am speed. You're annoying as well if you take forever to die. God's sake, stop it with a goddamn hands, you fuck. Just a waste of my time. Come down. It's the wrong heckin' way, goddammit. Got a shop there, I don't really care about it right now. We just about made it to the boss in time, but we still gotta actually kill her. Hey, we got this, we got this. Okay, we just about did that. 
Backstab is probably better here. This is a risk, because um, obviously we are actually going to have to uh, kill you now. Whoa, we're doing a lot of damage there. That was kind of crazy. But I'm, I'm basically hoping that Backstabber plus the fact that our damage is going to keep stacking over and over. What's doing all this damage? Is that Backstabber that's doing that? What the hell's going on right now? Dude! Is that Backstabber that's doing that? Normally it's an icon for Backstabber, right? Yeah, enemies are just dying. And I'm also not shooting you in the back either. Whatever's going on, I like it. I'm doing a buku amount of damage. Also, we have a lot of hearts about from our, uh, our good old friends. So I don't really care about our health too much. Look at that. Like I'm getting like these chunky hits. It must be Backstabber, because I wasn't getting that before. But it just doesn't seem to be what Backstabber normally does. I thought I put like an icon and made you bleed, didn't it? Maybe not. Maybe it's just the double damage. What am I thinking? What am I thinking of? Definitely a different one. But anyways, either way, I'm not hitting them in the back, so that's the main confusion. Some of these enemies, you don't really know what their back is, so kind of up to the game to determine, but a lot of these, like that guy, I'm not hitting in the back, but I am doing amazing damage to. Look at that, he just insta died. I didn't even get into second phase. And there's quite literally no way I can shoot this guy in the back, so if it's telling me I'm hitting in the back... I really don't know what's going on, I'll be honest. I mean, I like it, but I have no idea what's happening. Look at that, he just... Both of these guys just, like, insta died. Anyone can understand what's happening here. I've much appreciated. Maybe Backstabber just got, like, real good. Maybe it just got a buff and it's, like, amazing now. I mean, I don't remember it getting a buff, but... Could just be that I haven't had it in a while. Yeah, so far we are sitting very pretty. This is nuts! Absolutely nuts. We got golden plum here. What the hell? Rare. Oh shit. I forgot he didn't attack when he died. Do I have anything in this room I can kill myself on? I don't think I do, do I? I'm gonna try and keep that spider alive. Oh no, my creep kills it. Doesn't matter. It's just, just, it's nutty. I want to keep something alive so I can kill myself after this, but I don't know how easy that's gonna be. Missing no unlocked. Very, very good item there as well. I guess I'll just, like, forego killing myself this time around and just get the hell out of here. Well, that was a good boss rush. Wow. I I, I am kind of baffled. Also, it's good to keep my, my rotten heart here because that works really well with the item we just received. The blue flies are going to now do poison fart clouds, which are reasonably strong. Lost it already. Good, 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 good. That's what we like to see. Na -na 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 -na. This is how we do it. One of you roly polies didn't fancy it, did you? At least we gotta remember that little old Chub, little old Chad, even, will, will keep us going, keep us rolling, keep us happy. He always leaves me satisfied and smiling. The old stanky boot, unfortunately, we cannot afford. This has been a 
a classic run. Nothing, like, there's nothing too nutty going on. It's just been all around pretty good. Like it. Sometimes you need a run like this. Really like this book as well. I, I just, I actually really, really like the, the secondary effect more than anything. The fact that it guarantees a mini boss spawn. Because the mini bosses can have so many good properties also. Holy shit. If we can get ourselves, um. If we can get ourselves the wafer here for 20, I'd be very, very happy. We're one off. Pretty sure there's a penny back this way in this room over here, so I'll just go grab that and buy the wafer. Make sure to buy that card upon walking through the door. That is pretty incredible. Little chat will keep us going. I like it. Yeah, I gotta say, little Chad is just worth so, so much more now because of that. Like, little Chad is the is kind of effectively like having a holy mantle, essentially. As long as we get only get hit once every few rooms, because we can just regen that health because we're only taking a half heart of damage. Really, really good relies on us not getting hit too much. There you go, there's another heart. And he can sustain us. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, I'll be honest. Also, this game is kind of trolling me right now. I have, like, no money, and it's like, here is fucking everything you could ever want from Placard, even though Placard, like, normally never procs. Again, we get pretty much an insta-kill on the boss here, but God knows why. We also healed up there, I don't know what. Purple Senator, of course. Hmm. Golden Bomb. I'll at least check this room for secret rooms, because, I mean, we have a Golden Bomb. Unfortunate. Right, let's just go. I'm not going to do my killing myself thing anymore. It's a little bit risky at this stage, even with the wafer. Oh, what the hell? Hello there, big rock. I was wondering why that rock was just spewing out tears. There you go. A free Ackle Dam. I say free, it cost us four bombs, but still pretty cool. We could play the shit out of that. I mean, yeah, actually, why not? and get a blood bank or whatever. Uh, 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 uh. So as I can say, we get the invincibility, which I forgot we'd get. Pay out, you stupid machine. You know you want to. You know you want to. Damn it, this machine is kind of rude. That was a lot I put into that. Unfortunately, nothing. I mean, we got a lot of money, but... And a lot of... A lot of Brother Bobbies, too. Like, a lot of Brother Bobbies. But... Sadly... Not what we're really looking for here. 
Also, a lot of blue flies, wow. A lot of blue flies. Probably use my book again here. Annoying room is not so bad. Ooh. Good that we got all that money, I guess, because now we get Gimpy, which is even better because that means more red hearts for us, which I like. Unfortunately, this was the wrong way, surprisingly. Wouldn't have expected that, I'll be honest. There's so many more hearts about if we could just keep playing the machine, but I don't know, it's a lot of effort. Calm down with your lasers, buddy. Okay. My brother Bobby's are taking a lot of damage here, but that's just kind of how it is. Kind of how, how it has to be. They are my protectors. Devil deal. I'll take that at least. Right. Have we done Hush? We haven't done Hush. Let's do Hush. A little bit risky on this amount of HP, but I'm feeling confident at the moment. I mean, this is definitely making me feel better. Card is Emperor, unfortunately. Two tears up and a look up. That's fantastic. Polly, hell yes. Obviously lower fire rate, but that damage up is very nice. And Leech is probably better out of the two there. Although I do love Fruity Plum. And I will most certainly take that too. Can you stop curting yourself on the fires, please, lads? Very stupid. Right, you here then. Where's my mini boss? It said all, all flaws except greed. How could you lie to me like this? I would like to see this floor expanded, to be honest, to become an actual floor that has some unique stuff on it. Because there is unique enemies for this floor. If anyone just wanted to, like, put the effort in to, like, make some new enemies and then, like, some rooms for it. And maybe some additional little bits and, like, have the item rooms scattered and the shops scattered throughout the floor. I think that could be really cool. Obviously, it would add time to runs. I think it could be interesting. So, hopefully, with this whole backstabbing thing we've been doing doesn't seem to be triggering right now. We can do some buku damage to this guy. Obviously, we're going to be firing a lot slower here, but overall... Okay, it's, it is working. We're getting the backstabs. A lot of these guys are bleeding now, which I'm not quite sure why, but... Again, I'll just accept it. Okay, yeah, we are doing very good damage. Does the razor make make enemies bleed, maybe? I don't remember anything. I don't know Isaac very well. The amount of time I have played, I am not very knowledgeable. I keep forgetting as well that I came into this floor being like, oh, we're on pretty low health, but we have the wafer. Whatever our health is, it's literally double. Right, this guy should be dead pretty soon. It seems to be the backstabber only works when they're actually facing me now, which is strange. Ow. Annoying, but fine. There's so many ways to gain back red hearts at the moment as well. We have Gimpy, we have Little Chad, and we have the Leech. Like, if we get onto red health, we're pretty much golden. <laughs> we pretty much don't have to worry about that. 
Don't have any bombs, unfortunately, but I think this guy's pretty much dead here. There you go. Very easy kill on him there, to be honest. I said we were going to do Mega Satan. I completely forgot about that. Empty Vessel is a fantastic unlock, though. An item that I'd completely forgotten wasn't unlocked by default. I'm very happy to have. Ooh, we got a... What was a red room very briefly there. Oh, it's because it generated as an extra, I see. Because it appeared on the map as a, as a red room for a minute. But it's because it was an extra generated room from the book. Whatever's going on here, not a fan. What? What is this room? Let me out. We got some golden 3D glasses, which I'd love, but unfortunately cannot afford. Also, banger music once again. We'll, we'll try and get money if we can. Also, I should get that key for next floor. Also, this thing on a three-room charge is pretty, pretty pogged. Good. We are getting so many procs of placard today. I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Unfortunately, we just can't afford them all. Gemstone leveled up. More bobbies. I really like this trinket too, to get the uh, the temporary bobbies every now and again. Look at this. It's just crazy. <laughs> so many placard pulls. So many items to buy. Not enough money to buy them with. You don't think I'd want soy milk on a run like this? That got leveled up again. Oh god. I hate the look of this room. Thank god I was able to clear it quickly. Unfortunately, picked up a copper bomb there. Not a big fan. I'd be interested to see someone that's never played Isaac before play with Fiend Folio on. I'm not sure if that'd be a good idea or not. Because I feel like the difficulty spike is pretty high. But also, if you've never played the game before, maybe you'd adjust to the difficulty a bit easier because you don't know anything else. Or maybe you just flounder and not be able to do anything. Who knows? For Polyphemus, we have quite pretty good tier right here. Easy. Right, to the next floor. Give us a dad's key so we can open up the devil, uh, the thingy. Not devil deal, you know what I mean. Chalky mill. Technically, tap shooting is probably better with this setup. Yeah, tap shooting is definitely better. Again, I'm getting kind of low HP here. I don't know why I'm not taking that familiar fly, by the way. Um, I'm getting kind of low HP here, but I actually think it doesn't matter, because I think once we're on red HP, we're going to be in an okay spot regardless. Oh, we got BLs above for that. Nice. Was not expecting that. Good. Don't expect too many chests here, to be honest. God damn again. Unfortunately, the book isn't very useful when you already have high damage. It's only really effective when you have low damage, because that gave me 0 0.7, and we already have 25, 24 damage. It's just like, meh, whatever. But like, when you have like 3 and 4 damage, 0 0.7 is a huge, huge bonus. I understand why it doesn't scale, though. It shouldn't be good in every scenario. 
the tooth, I guess. Thank you. We are on red health now because I decided to walk into everything there. Not a big fan of this room, although that boss just insta died for whatever reason. He decided that perishing was the only option. And I respect him for that. The only logical conclusion to his life. I have to level up my dagger as much as I can. I think it's near to max already, or already max. Just by looking at the projectile. The higher I can get it, the better. Interesting room there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's already maxed. That should have leveled me up, right? But we are rinsing through everything right now. Unfortunately, not finding the uh, the boss particularly quickly, though. I was just about to say, you better not hurt me at that distance, but... You know this game, it can be cruel sometimes. Keep this guy at a distance. Unfortunately, he's doing the bitch move and hanging out over the rocks, which I really hate. The rocks are not your domain, sir. No key, unfortunately. Anyways, let's just fight the bluest of babies. The three-phase king. I love that Akeldama works like that with, um, with multi-dimensional baby. And just, like, turns all of his projectiles into the double damage ones. Let's skip a phase there. Maybe. Either way, a nice dead blue baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A very fun episode indeed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.